we, we can't just take care of certain parts of the jobs climate. We gotta remember parents who have kids need childcare, need affordable childcare. You can't ignore the fact that some people can get a job now if they're low income. They qualify for sliding fee childcare in Hennepin County. They're told, two years, come back and we'll get you childcare. That doesn't work. We have to address the comprehensive needs of the children and of a working people. And the way we're gonna balance the needs is recognize that we can't continue the trend we're on where we're ignoring the problems and hoping they go away. The governor in his budget cutting in order to balance the budget, he cut general assistance medical care. His own administration said it's the 31,000, the sickest people in the state. He claims it'll save $380 million. And it would under only one condition. And that's that those 31,000 people cooperate and stop getting sick. And it doesn't work that way. They get sicker and they use the emergency room and it costs us more. The reason we're breaking our budget and the reason we can't afford all these priorities is because we've ignored the problems and hope they go away. I think we need to aggressively move forward. That's why I like the Minnesota Health Plan. My single payer legislation covers every Minnesotan for all their medical needs by treating chemical dependency and mental health problems. We actually prevent crime. We prevent out of home placement of kids. We save a lot of money in human services, in crime costs, in healthcare costs. It's by addressing the problems up front that we're gonna be able to do it. And the same thing with education. When people talk how expensive education is, that bumper sticker had a lot of wisdom. If you think education is expensive, try ignorance. And we can do better. We as a state in the 1970s did better. I wanna make sure 2010 we start doing better again.